Hi, it's Mark Owen from Moose Marketing and PR, the editor of Punchline Magazine, today at uh, COP Gloucestershire. I'm with Siobhan Bailey, the MP for Stroud. Siobhan, thanks for joining us. Thank you. No, it's fantastic. It's such a great event, isn't it? Yeah, so, so what do you think of it all then? And, um, you know, would you like to see this as a regular fixture? Yeah, so ABC came um, to me quite early on when this was a, an idea in its infancy and said they want to do this. I was like, absolutely, let's go for it. You know, uh, you may have heard me say uh, Stroud is the greenest constituency in the greenest county. Even the Prime Minister is saying that now. So I think the opportunity to bring together individuals, businesses, organisations, campaign groups to really like uh, show that message and, and show the energy here is brilliant. Now, obviously, we talk about Australia being green, but what about the rest of the country? How are we going to convince people to actually switch to the green? Because I'll be honest with you, the feedback from the boiler incentive hasn't been brilliant. Well, listen, you know, government can't win. They are either going too fast for some or too slow for others. And the reality is we need to do things at a pace that not only brings the whole country with us, but also allows us to maximize the skills and the opportunity in businesses and, and adapt with bringing on new technology. So I think the strategies that are coming out of government, and there's no one strategy, there is every government department is working on this. We were the first country to put the target of 2050 in place. So we are now bringing all that work uh, together to, to try and implement on the boilers you know I don't think we should be ripping out healthy gas boilers but I do think that as, as our boilers die and as we need to change them that we need to know what options are available to bring in the more renewable uh, uh, and the and more energy efficient measures and that's what the government was trying to achieve and actually what we saw is you know you set the target and the market adapts and the, the costs will go down we've seen that in other renewable uh, energy sources as well so I'm really hopeful for this. Now, one of the big questions I want to ask you as well is that when we spoke last time, I did your big interview with you. We talked about um, we talked about uh, tro trolling, tro trolling. Yeah, got that right, trolling. did I? Trolling. Yeah, yeah, so I yeah. can't say it. Yeah. trolling. I've been here too long. Uh, yeah. Trolling and, and things like that. Now it seems to be moved. The government seems to be catching on to the idea that something's got to be done. Yeah. Well, I've um, been running a campaign for over a year, um, which is uh, look trying to reduce anonymous abuse um, and ultimately to say that um, we should have verification on our social media. So we should allow, have the choice of being verified so our address and details will be held uh, by either social media companies or, or a third company we haven't, whatever it is, but it's there. And we should be able to choose to follow only social media verified accounts and be followed by verified accounts if that's what we want because there is good anonymity some people want to be able to be anonymous for whistleblowing for exploring different parts of um, society and groups so let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater but we're absolutely right Mark you know we're seeing real changes sadly because of Sir David's death awful awful tragedy it's only natural that the, the the conversation leads to the abuse that MPs suffer and not just MPs people from all over uh, in every single sector suffer and a lot of that is online so we've got the online harms bill going through and we're looking at how to strengthen that and with the anonymity work I'm doing I'm hoping to get some real changes I'm sorry if I'm looking in the wrong direction I keep looking at you and looking at the camera so if my eyes are looking all over the place that's uh, sorry about that. no, no, you're, doing, you're yeah. doing very well as always <laughs> um, the, I've got to ask you'd be really remiss if I didn't, um, you know, case numbers are rising now with COVID. Uh, we heard that the number of schools have closed down in Gloucestershire. Um, what's your view on it? Should the should the country move towards you know wearing masks and, and maybe a bit more of a lockdown? What's your view on this? People do take a real responsibility for themselves now. We, we, we all know the drill. We know that being outside in aerated areas, you know, uh, spending, it's being away from each other uh, and making sure that we wash our hands, you know, all the time. We know all of that. You know, over the winter months, there'll be more time spent inside. I think only naturally people will take their own steps to protect themselves and protect their loved ones. Whether we need another uh, uh, overarching, bearing down uh, uh, policy agenda from government, I don't think we're there yet. Thankfully, hospital admissions are still lower. But what I'm pleased about is that businesses and schools uh, and organisations uh, are actually taking steps to, to protect themselves. So you know, don't 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 be under any illusion that this is being 
being watched and monitored every single day. You've seen government move mountains and take some very unprecedented and unpopular measures and requirements for the country. So if, it's, if that's what's needed, that's what will happen. But at the moment, I think we need to be responsible and, and you know, really start to think how we learn to live with this violence. Uh, very last question, the big question of this, have you seen the new James Bond film? I have seen the new James Bond film. I love the car chases. I think yeah, an Aston Martin going around in circles firing guns is a, is a, is a, good, is a good cinema day out for me. Uh, but yeah, listen, there is nothing that Gloucestershire businesses cannot do and I wouldn't put it past any of the businesses here today to be able to make some of the technology for the future of the James Bond films. Siobhan, always great to see you. Thank you very much for your time. Okay.